All right, we're going to start with the nation. Senators' reps draw battle line with CBN over narrow notes. We can not campaign for article. Legislature, judiciary, autonomy, bills ready for Buhari's ascent. Retire if you are due, PSC orders DIGs and AIGs. Abia to enjoy export hub status, says Tinumbu. Tribunal fixes Friday for verdict on Oyetala versus Adeleke. And uh, how Amosu increased Ogun IGR. All right, which story are we taking? Okay. Um, so, the Police Service Commission has um, given an instruction based on the law. The statement came from the fact that he said some people that are meant to retire in um, are meant to retire now out of the service are asking for extensions. So um, the police service commission has said that it is institutional. There is an institutional succession plan within the Nigerian police force, and there are enough people to fill in the positions. That the commission has taken a decision not to extend the tenures of retiring senior police officers, stressing that even if they decide to, they want to re, um, accept the extension, it is illegal because the Police Service Act and the Constitution of the Federation makes it illegal to do so, and that there are enough people that can fill in that gap. A lot of ASP from the Police Academy every year, 10,000 constables <coughs> are being recruited every year, and it is important that once you hit the age of 30, 60, or you've served for 35-year period, um, you should rigid, follow the rigid rule mm. of mandatory retirement. And that's to everyone who is a DIG, AIG, and police commissioner. Yeah, uh, but what I'm thinking about this matter is the uh, IG is supposed mm. to retire because he's, he has reached, in March he will reach his own. But they are saying the president has given him an extension. extension yes. Now that is what is causing... I'm sure so people are now asking uh, for uh, Yeah, so if you can give... Uh, no, that is a discussion, the discussion is, of the president. Yes, the IG is appointed you're now. You're not entitled yes, to it. Yes, the IG is so. appointed. Yes. But the other people are promoted. Yes, so by virtue of that, yeah. they would have to yeah, go to exit. It's still, he has served, the last one, once he's 60, uh, he, he's reached the age of 60 and he's 35 years, he left now. Mm. Honestly, I feel bad that the president gave extension because he would also say precedents. Well, they even need the extension now because of this. What well, the elections? At least that mm. the elections passed. Like, we need we need consistency so far. So I can understand why there's a need for a bit of extension. But let's take another story. I was going to take the. Let me see. I think it was the Ashura story. He was in Imo. Was in Imo State. Yes, he was in Umwa here, <laughs> uh, escorted by Hope Uzodima, the governor of Imo State, for a rally where he unveiled his industrialization plan for Abia State. He was saying, <clears throat> I was also was saying that um, this, this is the state of the, the center of production and, and his center of production and industry. According to him, he said that Abia market is one of the largest in Africa, in West Africa, and he sees becoming the major exporter of all types of manufactured goods to Asia, North America, South America, and Europe. He sells he sees this state as a humming industrial activity such that it will become a world famous center activity from the manufacturing of clothes to cars, appliances, computers, and other components. So it's promising the people in the South is that definitely we will support them to become a production viable state. The, you have a story the, in Nation? Why um, I, well, I've taken the other story, but I can also take the uh, CBN and the Senate. Yes. Uh, the, the controversy, the Senate are asking for um, an extension. extension. They are saying, you know, a lot of people in their constituent constituents cannot get their money in yeah. time and they are not even seeing the old the new, the new notes so they're asking for an extension but um the emifele has said so there's uh, no budging also in the paper the the fact is the cbn is independent they have the right to create monetary policies mm -hmm. and so the the Senate or the House of Assembly cannot compel the CBN to change their decision. That the CBN mm. said they've given 90 days. That should have gotten everybody if to I drop said, their notes. If I said 90 days, then it says no. It's 100 that he has given. So, so people have got, but according to he, him, but people he hasn't have gotten provided enough the notes. In, in, uh, hey, he, he's he's saying, listen, he's saying our mint is producing and we are supplying the banks. Mm. We have super agents in on undeserved... Under, underserved areas like riverine communities. Mm -hmm. And, but th that is, that's, you're saying it,
But it's not translating. Yeah. It's not what we are seeing. Absolutely. Yeah, and he also said that he has Today, told banks to operate to close later and operate on weekends. But we're not seeing banks saying that we are opening security. for longer hours. Who is going to work on weekends? Uh, uh, no bank has sent me any text to say. Oh, we can come and you can come at any time. That's let me let me let me take an extension of that story in punch because I was going to give um, Governor Emifile some updates just in case he thinks everybody <laughs> has. Um, let me just move on quickly to the punch. New Naira deadline: Kano, Ondo, and Anambra depositors flood banks with old notes. Labor knocks governors as states reject local government autonomy. Islamic teacher bags life jail for defiling eight-year-old people. No, eight pupils actually. WHO worries over fresh 170,000 COVID-19 cases and deaths. FG raises 14-man panel to end fuel scarcity. Lagos projects 7.5 million train passengers monthly. Interest rate hike, job losses, crisis looms, warns OPS, and traders lament as Okoa shuts market for Atiko. Okay, so going to the story of the Naira notes again. So we have reports according to Punch. From Kano State, according to the customers there, beseech various commercial banks in the city of Kano on Zoo Road branch specifically. And he said there was absolutely no new notes. Also in Sokoto, people traveled far from their villages to come closer to the city to, work, to go to the banks to exchange all their old notes. And there were no, old, there were no new notes for the disbursement. Same thing happened in Oshun, Ondo, Bornum, and Anambra State where punch reporters went there to observe. Even the ATM, the ATM um, machines had, were not dispensing cash. And even one of our producers or the directors confirmed this morning that all the ATM cash she went to this morning, they were not dispensing. They said out of service. They, come in, they ask you to come into the bank. When you get into the bank, they will offer you old notes. Obviously, they don't want, they, they, they do not have the, the new notes. You can't change. So I, I sent personally my secretary this morning. Oh, yeah. Go to, I she went to how many banks? I read them out to you. I yes. won't... Please, mention it. Let, uh, let me make... Okay. She went, so to, we know. she went to Polaris, Stambik, GTB, Zenith, Fidelity, Access, FCMB, First Bank, and UBA. I mean, that's like nine, nine banks. Nine banks, nine. And, <laughs> they're not dispensing cash. The, no, no cash in the ATMs. And they said they have old notes if she wants inside. inside. Governor, you may fail it. Oh, yeah, I hope the, with this uh, small medium of ours, <laughs> we want to convince you and not confuse you that there are no new notes in the banks. They, so please, flood if you want. We are not saying it shouldn't be Sakosa. Flood the market. Because are you telling me I will go to the vendor to go and buy newspaper now? And I will tell the vendor transfer. I want to do transfer? That's where we or want Where is your yeah, so POS? That's what he wants us to move to. Yeah, we are changing culture, but you cannot change culture in 90 it's days. It's not drastic. It yes, you be. can. In, in 90 days? Mm -mm. It doesn't happen. Uh -uh. Let's take another story in punch. <laughs> yeah, oh, the okay. Islamic teacher, um, he bags, he, they gave him life for... He defiled eight students. They said he was using his index finger. Ew. And um, Justice um, Sholadoye had said that um, she, they, she believes the witnesses, that they convinced her that she doesn't. And for that, she's registering him as a sex offender <sighs> and that he's a disgrace to the religion and that um, the government should now go to schools and all these places to make sure that they are monitoring the yeah. school, that people should watch them. The, the school head, the head teachers, that's their job, the teachers. Yeah. How many can government do these teachers who may monitoring the students? Let's go on a quick break. When we come back, we continue with our reviews. With us, we're still reviewing Punch. Yes, stop So um, I'm taking a story about Delta State where traders lamented. Um, they were lamenting that the markets were shut down. They said that the, the, the governor of the state was unfair to markets traders in Asaba because while it did not shut down the government, it didn't declare the day a public holiday. It stopped them from being able to trade and make money, which is their own source of livelihood. So the market was shut on Tuesday simply because of the campaign that, um, and it is unfair to the citizens to do that. But during the campaign, Atiku, who was able to speak, did not, of course, that, that was a different issue. He mentioned the fact that um, they wanted uh, at Delta State to show up, you know, for AP, for PDP as they always have, that Delta has never disappointed PDP since 1999, and they're expecting that everybody will show up to support um, PDP in Delta State. Okay, um, let's move on now to Daily Sun. 
National Assembly CBN clashed over the old Naira notes. Let like me talk about that earlier. Mm -hmm. I'll end youth in frustration, restore hope to Nobu pledges. FG stops refined sugar importation. No extension for police officers due for retirement, says PSC. Elections parents appeal for two weeks break for students to vote. Asaba stands for Article XVP restates commitment to restructuring and unity. Okay, which story are we standing by? Uh, I have the story from um, the National Parent Teacher Association, that's the NAPTAN. Yes, they were saying, asking the federal government, who had complained about 3.5 million students may be disenfranchised as a result of the elections in February 25th. And um, they also are they're asking that the government should allow a two weeks break to allow students to vote. And I'm thinking, two weeks break? I mean, like, we like holiday in this country. But that's what the. Um, and Naptan is saying uh, the National Association of Nigerian Students also sought out two-week break for students to travel to their various homes or destinations where they are registered to vote and during, and during the elections. I can understand that because many of them are out of town and they're hoping that they can go back home to um, vote. But I'm not sure two weeks is... No, but um, the former president of the National Association, Nans, yes. said um, that uh, two days was enough for students likely to be affected you know, um, that they should just go, come back and vote. Exactly. Outside their comp uh, campuses and come back to vote. One week is too much, and I don't support that. I believe that no student leader will support that too. Exactly. Transportation is also expensive, though, because when yeah. you say you should go and come back, the cost of going and come back. You still go and twice. come back in two weeks. You still go and you still come back. It's not and they will go back twice for presidential election and gubernatorial March. election. March. March. That's March. Mm. The presidential is there in February 25th. So but just, you should just March. give them two days. Yeah. Let me take the story about um, the sugar. So the federal government has stopped the importation, importation of refined sugar. It is part of the, there's a plan, the Nigerian Sugar Master Plan, which mm. is a 10-year plan. The goal of the plan is to boost the Nigerian GDP by 500, million, 500 billion naira. And the government has provided 30, 300,000 hectares of irrigated farm land. For me, this is a big deal. And they said that over the period. This is the second phase of that 10-year plan. Um, the Executive Secretary of the National Sugar Development Council, Mr. Zach Adedeji, said he, he was really excited about this and that they expect this to boost the companies and the country's power production because ethanol is created from, um, can be created from sugar and it can create jobs directly and it indirectly. So the states, there are nine states covered in this 300,000 300,000 hectares of irrigated farmland. Nasarawa, Kwara, Adamawa, Oyo, Niger, Taraba, Undo, Sokoto, and Bochi. And we're expecting that anybody that is in this line of business would plug in into this opportunity. Okay, another... Uh, okay, let's move on now to... Have I taken a story here? Yes, you did. The, the election... To the students. Election okay, let me move on now break. to Vanguard. National Assembly CBM battle for old Naira notes deadline. Constitution review National Assembly bows to governors as state assemblies reject local government autonomy. Restriction of Okada Kekena Pep court dismisses suit against Lagos state government. CBM raises monetary policy rates to 17.5%. And travelers entering Nigeria must present COVID-19 vaccination certificate, says federal government. Okay. So we missed the story about um, <clears throat> the travelers coming into Nigeria and because there's a resurgence of COVID-19 in a few countries around the world, the federal government and the presidential steering committee, PSC, has decided that for any traveler coming into Nigeria now, they need to show proof that they've been vaccinated at the airport. But I think we might need to do a bit more than that because we, we also know that you can still be a carrier even if you have been vaccinated. So maybe the awareness for increased vaccination. Yeah, are you saying that they want to be vaccinating you at the airports? They put that in the story uh, as the well. Story, uh, well. So if you haven't been vaccinated, you get vaccinated yeah. at the airport. That's um, also... I wonder, do they have that kind of money? <sighs> do you know how many people come into Nigeria daily? Um, and, you know, most of the world... It was China that most of the world faced, because it's China that... Yeah. Are the, are the ones with the... Oh, now we are now saying everybody. Anyway. Okay. Let me take the, another story. Oh, you have a, yeah. I was just going to take that um, the Lagos State Federal High Court 
has dismissed the suit by um, what's the Julius Ajibulu. Uh, he has um, he was asking them to ask the government to um, reverse the ban, and uh, the judge said that the ban applicant had failed. Yes, ban on Okada. Uh, and Okada and um, tricycles. Yeah, they had um, failed, failed to establish that the Lagos state government has no powers to ban operations of tricycles and motorcycles in respect of the designated roads in the state. Mm. And they had, they had been in court since 2018, so at least... All right, so I'm quite interested rights. in the constitutional review. So according to the National Assembly clerk has directed... No, the National Assembly has directed the, the, the clerk, Sani Tambua, to urgently transmit the 35 bills that have far met the, um, the constitutional requirements when the, of, of Section 9, Subsection 2 of the Constitution for presidential assent. Now, if you recall, they had proposed, they had um, sent about 44 amendments to the states to review, and, but they only sent back 35. Um, of the ones that, have not, that, that they've not touched is the one on local government autonomy. Um, 27 states have, stood, have, have um, 27 or 36 states on local, have, have said they express, expressed their own concern for um, the local government autonomy, and governors particularly rejected, most governors rejected the local government autonomy, meaning that there's a, there's a strong possibility that if, if the president assents to this bill, the, the, um, the quest to get that autonomy would have been killed completely because the governors at the various House of Assemblies have rejected. Many of them do not want that autonomy for the local government. This is, a, this is, this, this is something that is worth discussing. Um, they've gone around, they've done the um, town hall meetings, they've also gone around to the, national, to the House of Assemblies across the state, and um, some nine of the states actually abstained from even touching the bill at all. So this in itself is not, um, it's, there are different angles to this conversation and it's something that's worth looking at again. But let's see what the president will do if he will, do, if he will append his signature to it. And if he doesn't, I guess we have to go back to another review and to see how he can do to get the assent. Okay, let's us, we have to wrap up. How many minutes do we have? Just a minute. Let's take Nigerian Tribune. Let's find a story. We have not taken 1.5 million polling agents for elections since INEC. Ogun PDP, Governor Supreme Court dismisses Jimmy Lawal's appeal. Others? Oshun Adeleke or Itola to know their fate January 27th. Constitutional review, Senate bows to governors on refusal of local government autonomy. And Buari sets up 14-man community to ease petrol scarcity. So that's, that's the story. story. Um, the, the president has set up um, a 14-man steering committee to deal with petrol scarcity in the, with the goal of reducing the challenge. The committee is being chaired by the Minister for State for Petroleum Resources, Chief Timipi Silva. In the committee, there are members, um, other members of the committee include the Minister for Budget and Financial Planning. It includes advisors to the President of the Economy, the DG of the DSS, the Controller um, General of Nigerian Customs, Chairman of EFCC, um, and the Nigeria, the, the, the Commandant General of the NSCDC including other people, make the 14-man steering committee. And the goal of these people is to see whatever they can do to ensure that there is um, supply, proper supply of AGO, DPK, and LPG, according to and um, PMS, all other petroleum products. And we're looking forward to it not just being a committee, but actually let's see the committee effective in reducing the stress of getting fuel in Nigeria right now. So I just want to say that a committee, again, <laughs> is a group of individuals Com who sim singularly can do nothing but come to together, together to agree that nothing can be done. Okay, <laughs> let us go to a break. <laughs>